Well, hello everybody, and we're back for episode 7 of Neonomics. In this episode, we are going to be pushing the envelope and getting ready for the next expansion, but primarily focused on getting all of these houses to tier 3. Now, we are relatively close, but there is quite a bit of bulking and resource storage that needs to be done. I would very much like to get the stone for the entire next area, but first we need to upgrade this area to stone. Now, we do want to take our time. We do want to do things right. We have a lot of statues a lot of things to get up there really realistically is no rush and we should take our time getting through these steps so that we are ready to succeed oh man furniture is selling for 56 gold in the bad market barrels are pretty cheap i don't have anything this guy's not buying my cheese i got all this cheese but i got no buyers one crop being eaten by animals a little bit of a buckwheat bean pea thing going on but we don't got any buckwheat growing anymore so i'm not too worried really got rid of the disease that was over here I believe we're doing pretty well. What is this? It is a maple. We got one or two maples in this design. It looks like they're finally starting to cut down. Oh, that's the thicket they're cutting down. These, all these birch trees should be cut down now because they are like seven. That's full maturity for a birch. We, this is the, um, we're getting our weaver up. We're going to actually start putting shirts on people. Um, my play style is this. If I'm not punished for it, I don't see a point in doing it. Uh, if I don't have to do something, I don't do it. You don't have to do everything. That's that's like really critical. You just have to do enough. And I have perfect happiness, ton of food, ton of people. Shirts aren't hurting me. I mean, yeah, they want shirts. So what? So what if they want shirts? Why do I have to give them shirts, huh? What's that gonna do for me? Right now I'm doing it because it's a great trade item. I'm doing it purely because I like money. If I were deficit on any of these other areas, like soap production, say I'm playing a map where I have to manually buy herbs, and I'd make shirts, because that would uh, offset that. But uh, I'm at a point where I'm at peak happiness without shirts. You know what? They're happier without shirts. Maybe they don't want shirts. Maybe maybe that's the lesson here. Maybe just because you can do something doesn't mean it's going to make you happy. No, no. It's a, it's a game mechanic. But essentially, it's that. You don't you don't need to hit every single peak mechanic in this game. Um, and if I don't have to do something, I don't want to do it because I prefer to have my people for other things. But we do have the people now, so I, I do have the freedom to to make those decisions to clothe and bathe everybody individually if i if i feel like it i don't i don't know if i have to go that far but i will at least clothe them i will i will make them shirts so we're we're on the the righteous path of a shirt making i sound really defensive now so it just makes it even more awkward i i really don't even i just i don't have too much emotion i'm just gonna move on we do see that we're still planting the maples and the maples further going to point out that the trees that spawn in a certain area are predetermined and it's not determined based on how many of a certain tree type you have it's literally every single tile has a i will grow birch i will grow maple um and that's the way it is they're bound by by bloodlines in the the dirt so we got that going on we, luckily we have enough maples to make this thing pretty damn productive 234 I'm hoping to see 156. I mean, so we are really starting to see the parallel that the the low the low tier birch trees suck. Um, I kn I know I've come to that conclusion, but I'm just gonna keep saying it every episode. Why birch trees? They just suck. That's that's our episode of birch trees suck. And the cows are doing really well. We got a two birth rate per year. We're producing 473 milk, which hopefully is being converted to cheese. We're getting 680 meat now. Uh, the pelts okay pelt production is pretty good 680 meat though that's beautiful it's a lot of meat that's about 200 worth so that's not bad again i i do the barns purely for the cheese because i like the money and cheese is great um looks like we just need a few more iron ingots i am kind of of the mindset that i think i have an infinite iron mine in this build and i think it's over here yeah, we got infinite coal and we got infinite iron right here. So we can, I don't like the mines though. You get about half the production of a regular mine. I'm honestly not that big of a fan. Ooh, 200. Yeah, we want that. So not really a big fan of deep core mining, but we will explore it. And I will explain why I don't like it. It's just really not a good return on investment. Um, you get barely any reset, you, like... You put 16 people on something and get like four or 500 gold from those 16 people. That's really bad. That's like 50 gold a person. And even the worst trades, you even like the worst of worst trades get, get you 100 gold. 
like even making coal would it, it like would literally be more productive all right so three levels are still there let's put this to three you only need three workers let's do i'm gonna go over this again because it's the first time you're watching it starts you off at absurd worker valuations three workers per 72 fields or six by 12 so i'm booting these all to 12 by 24s and that's 12 workers you can actually go lower than 12 before you could so far 12 is holding the line i'm not having any rot i'm not having any loss and i can prove that by uh going through here well clovers don't yield but you can see i planted 54 harvested 51 that's probably because of uh, the weed levels and the fertility was only 77 at the time the beans same thing planted 2000 harvested more and that's because beans are great and they always do really well they have a high impact well it doesn't yeah the fertility dependence on these is a little bit lower so with a low fertility it didn't impact it much but yeah so i'm getting my maximum yields um we're carting away the unconscious bodies it looks like we might have a wolf over here or something we got some sand here we got some sand in the southwest i want to get a glass maker shop i want to do a lot of things uh i want to learn how to dance uh, um but uh that doesn't involve anything in this game and we just need to get some iron next so let's see what we got for trade items we got shoes we are the i always end up being the al bundy of the of the frontier what else do we got for trade here boards i could trade boards we got more than enough herbs i don't know if we don't get too many people buying herbs it's a great early game coal is also a good trade item but i'm not in the market for trading that beer will eventually be something i start trading i'm not ready for that i'm not ready for a lot of stuff right now um windmill why oh that's right because i turned off the auto refill positions when i was tweaking some stuff we got a new trader and he's buying all my cheese at four so we're still making two two thousand of cheese oh, what you got for me oh, well he really has very little for me but i have the money and uh money is good uh, it's 63 so that's the problem here okay you know what i think i'm going to do let's spend some money let's spend some serious serious money let's get this gaudy fancy statue up we need 65 iron ingots crap all right so we need iron ingots to build the statue so that's kind of a moot point but what we don't need iron ingots for is to upgrade small parks i think i'll upgrade these corresponding small parks and i think i'll build the third small park that goes right here yeah we're looking pretty now um I don't know why I said it that way. You just uh, pretend I didn't say something really creepy. I know, I know, it's seared in your mind now, so I apologize. But um, uh, look at this guy. Yeah. Now, now we're on to new thoughts. And then the merchant is um, buying more of my cheese. Eight hundred gold. Oh, sh okay. He was only offering three gold for cheese. I wouldn't sell my gold for that cheap. Not that, not that desperate yet. But it is, it is an early night. And no one's selling iron. I want to buy ingots. I want ingots. All right, well, that's cool. So we're just gonna skirt by that. Weed levels are getting pretty dang good. I think after this, this pass will be good. One thing I like about flax is it lasts, I think it lasts like a couple years. So you can skip a year. So I, I do something like this. Two years of flax. I just don't care. We'll do it like this. Um, eventually it'll be two clovers. But yeah, we're gonna do it like this. We're just gonna have one year off where it's just clovers and then two years of flax and that should be pretty sufficient. I'm just gonna boot this up to two people so that when I inevitably forget all about it and I'm still gonna sell this cheese at three. Because I'm going to get, I get 500 cheese a year, and whatever isn't stored is eaten. So, i rather make, like, i rather make, like, 40 bucks than let any one of these people enjoy the high life, basically. It's completely out of spite. Anyway, we will be soaring high like a majestic desirability eagle here soon. We just need to get a little bit more cash. We do have the bricks. 
think I'm going to start upgrading the gardens and anything I can to get these things above 65. So let us transfer some of this gold and sell more of this cheese. Dirty peasant. Oh, I got it just in time. I did not deny these fine citizens the cheese. Um, okay, let's look. 80, 80, 80, 65, blah. Um, 65 is what I want. So like right here. So I could get, hmm, you know what? Let's, let's go to the next step. But oh, no, iron ingots. Let's just start anywhere that I have people on the edge. I'm just gonna go all out. All right, 62, 63. So this is a perfect contender for upgrading small gardens. I typically actually don't even have to upgrade small gardens, but with this compact design, it might be a necessity. This whole area right here is in extreme need of some beautiful, beautiful here too, small gardens. Yes, look at, I love the, I love the bird sounds because I imagine that birds burrow into these gar, I don't know why there's bird sounds. That doesn't even make sense. They, they like ground birds. They like burrow in to the, the garden, but are they living in the dirt underneath? I have questions. I have questions that no, no man on earth can answer. And I will have to wait. I'll have to wait for many of my, my questions. All right. Small garden, small garden, small garden. This is what happens when you play this game too much. You have to entertain yourself with very abstract thinking. Um, I've done this a billion times, and it sounds like someone is beating the shit out of something over here. What in the fuck? Oh, it's a boar. It's a boar. All right. I thought I thought I was being raided, but apparently someone thought punching a boar in the face instead of running away from it was a much, and then dying was the most intelligent course of action. Dying within a very small walk, and everyone else just kind of watched it happen. Um, probably not someone who was well liked by the village. He um won't be missed, I guess. Everyone's just going about their business, so I guess we're cool. Uh, we got eight people who are going to freeze to death this winter because there's no housing. Hopefully I can get these houses upgraded in time. I could just build a house, but that wouldn't be fun. I gotta, I gotta have, I gotta have a set of rules and I gotta live by them. So if they don't get these houses up in time, they freeze to death. That's just the, that's just the way it is. I mean, I could easily save them. Oh, I mean, we're pushing 192, though. Our raids are going to start getting a bit harder. That's actually kind of making me nervous. Um, I better look at my design and uh, start getting serious about defenses, which is... Uh... Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Got one, two, three. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. That's right where the tower needs to go. Okay, tower there. Space, one, two, tower there, one, two. Let me make sure that's correct on the third tip. It is correct. Well, isn't that awesome? And then right above. Hmm, that looks off. There's supposed to be one right here. Oh no, that's right. And then an entryway so that these soldiers can easily get to the towers and not have to walk all the way around. So there is that. And then there is one more tower. Because why have only three? All right, cool. So there's all the towers for this side. There's actually one. <laughs> there's always one more tower. There's one. There. Literally, though, there's one more tower right here in the design. And this is the last tower for this side. Okay, so this side's cool. This side's actually pretty cool, too. It's got three towers. Um, but let's look up here. We got one tower here. We don't have the uh, 
cool tower though, which is this one. What makes it cool? Absolutely nothing. I just call it the cool tower. All right, oof. Okay, that tower is correct. And then a barracks is gonna go right in this uh, little sweet spot right there. Well, actually, the barracks is gonna go right here. Exactly right here. In fact, after the next raid, we'll put the barracks up there, and we'll start prepping. Uh, start prepping the next expansion area, but we're not gonna do it. The main thing I'm focusing right now is selling things for selling cheese money, buying iron ingots, and upgrading. Uh, getting all of the really expensive multi-thousand dollar stuff. And the reason you want to do this is because you don't want to be trying to come up with all of these materials for two areas. You want to just like be done with this first area so that when you're moving over there there's really not much else to do here. And we got everything above 65. Ooh, even up here. Alright, I, I, can, I can hang. Let's do it. Let's upgrade those two. That should pump these. This area right here is going to be a pain in the ass, and I can feel it. Most likely, I'm going to have to do um, all flower urns right here, and that should do it. And back here, we have another... Yeah, we just need iron. So, we'll get iron eventually. And then, um... Everyone will think we're cool, because we have a... Fancy flower urns, son of a... People, people, like, basically the, the difference between someone thinking an area is fancy or not thinking an area is fancy is, is this. So, uh, if you're trying to sell your house and you want to tack on an extra $50,000, build an ornate flower urn. Um, doesn't matter if half your neighborhood's on fire. Flower urn. <laughs> That'll keep the value up. Alright. We're gonna sell some baskets. Basket empire is strong. We're gonna buy some stone. All the stone. And... We're gonna... Sell some more baskets if possible. And we're going to pray that this whole freaking thing doesn't burn to the ground. And I think it won't. But, uh... These people seem to not care about them, their environment so much. Look at that. We were... No one froze to death in the winter. That's, uh... That's cool. Alright, we got more baskets at 16. That's good. A thousand golden baskets. We're just lopping money. I'm going to actually keep this because I need to buy it. If anyone comes with iron ingots, I'm buying every single iron ingot that they have for purchase. All right, cool. I need to pause real quick. And I really freaking deck this site out. Residentials I like to keep safe. Well, let's see if they're buying baskets. They're not buying baskets. I'm getting pretty lucky with these rolls, though. People are buying all the my useless stuff. Just made a few thousand off that. Oh wow, we're out of soap. How did that happen? Must be a tallow thing. No, we got 28 tallow. They just, I guess they're using the soap, which is like a good thing. So we good, good, good for them. Mm hmm soap. Um, let's do a windmill. We need more windmills, and you know what? I think it's time. We're gonna do a wagon shop. Not just any wagon shop, but the exact same wagon shop as the one next to it. No difference in door decor. Or window, like nothing, just like exactly the same. <laughs> Everything in this game looks exactly the same. They, that would actually kind of be kind of cool. I mean, like they did it with housing, but it'd be kind of cool if there was at least th two to three different uh, ways something could look. 
I mean, they all look great, though. I mean, like... As much as I... Like, this is pretty damn cool looking. Like, they, they put a lot of attention to detail into the wagon shop. And the Immortal Oxen definitely agree with me that it is a very beautiful wagon shop. You can... You can... This is the, uh, the look... The look of agreeing. Just silent, emotionless, uh... I don't know what this is, but it, it's freaking me out. All right, we're being raided. Ooh, they brought they brought a friend. So this is never a good sign. Uh, those, these things can really start plowing. Yeah, so they're definitely bringing, bringing the goods in these raids. I'm really glad that I got multiple towers. I need to, oh my God, they went right through that thing like butter. This thing is just gonna start cleaning through. I do definitely need to, um, upgrade this whole area over here to stone but the good thing is is every tower is compartmentalized so they have to break through multiple gates just to get to one tower which means if they do get one tower all the other towers are still safe and free to frolic in the uh the tower fields no they're free to engage all the enemies i'm looking for anyone that doesn't have two in it because we need to get this going. And what I'll do... Okay, we got two and everything. We could possibly should have done that first. I got one tower. That sucks because it's going to cost me a bit of money. Um, and they're not going for the, the strong areas. But they're going right for it. There's the, they're smarter. See that? He went right for the wall to get to the tower. So they're pathing. They've, and they've been working on the pathing a lot. The pathing is a lot more intelligent now. But it's a good thing I got a stone wall up. Because that's... It's giving me extra time. What the hell are you guys doing over here? You guys out, like, gallivanting? Can't be gallivanting. Unable to work? Garrison? Why are you unable to work? What is this madness? Alright, we're gonna send in the barracks in case anyone gets through. Oh, see that? Look at that. They sent, uh, they sent their friend to the next wall. This is actually kind of freaking me out. Um... Okay, we're doing one damage to these uh, heavy platers. We're gonna need to start thinking uh, about about getting crossbows. I think the units are getting more armored. Man, they still got in. And they're going right for it. Um, all right, my friends, let's do this. All right, cool. They took the bait. I'm gonna ch have them chase me away. I want the tower not to get hit. I want the tower to do as much damage as he can. And I'm going to have these bandits hopefully not kill my guys. Some of the villagers are going to die. That's just God's God's will. Um, Alright, so, so the other guys are getting pounded. Everything else looks pretty good. There's definitely some holes in my, my design. We need to um, get some more gates. Uh, one thing I need... You saw how that... You saw how he was able to just w roll right up. Typically, I have gates sectioning each area so that they can't... Once they break in, they can't just go anywhere within the design. So that was a huge, uh, huge issue that I didn't put gates up. So that's why I do that. And now you can see why. So, yeah, that wasn't an accident or a complete lack of my attention. It was uh, to teach you all a lesson. Yeah, that's what it was. No, I fucked up. Um, so we're gonna gate that properly. I can't. I just do that when I can't find the freaking flag. I'll just move the flag and then tell them all to retreat. Okay. So as you can see, lots of people died. Um, none of none of, none of which will be missed. But the the damage is done. They didn't really destroy too many important buildings outside of those kind of uh, expensive towers so we're going to of course do this a little bit of that a little bit of this we're gonna gate here i'm actually just gonna like kind of gate like in a weird way um yeah, especially because i want them to have access I'm just gonna do this. All right, cool. That should that should actually do it right there. 
Um, yeah, they didn't really get in this area. I really need to start working on at some point. But yeah, just just make sure that you have. What the fuck is going on? God, dang, Boris. Sorry, excuse my language. I went I went rated R for a second there. I went I went full Samuel L. Jackson. I'm tired of these. Bleeping boars on this bleeping. What was it? Monday to Friday? Some censored version I watched on TV. I'm tired of these Monday to Friday boars on this airplane. Alright, here we go. I think it was Snakes on a Plane where he said Monday to Friday. I can't remember. It was hilarious. It made me, I, I think I almost cried laughing. Or I think one was like monkey fighting. Instead of, you know, mother fucker. <laughs> it's like monkey fighting. Uh, that sounds actually like worse because it sounds kind of racist. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I think, I think that's worse. I'm just gonna, I'm just go, I'm just gonna say it. I think that that, I think that's a lot worse than. All right. Get some, get some gates up. Gated in my community. Doing the gates. All right, we got enough gates to last us. Now they'll, they'll plow through them. But as you can see, like it, it just had free reign to keep going in and opening these areas up to attack. So anything you can do to slow it down and let these guys do their jobs and like bust things out. The better i needed more stone quite frankly i'm almost wondering if i need more more wood walls that was pretty intense and i i have the space i have the technology they don't seem to be like be coming for the industry area they seem to be coming from a beautiful beautiful people so uh there might be something to to having a fourth wall although i do know people will hate it um I thought by getting more towers up. I mean, dang, dude, they just... How did they even get that tower? I must have repaired the gate or something. Gates must have been down. Right, yeah, we got gates. Oh, whoops. Uh, those people have just been in there like, let us out. Let us go home. All right, cool. They are... We know that they're chopping the birch trees down. And they're not making a lot of wood. Um, over here, uh, all right. we're spending a lot of wood right now. Um, I'm going to do something. I'm going to have them cut all of these trees down here. All of these, just get rid of them. Same here. It's like, I almost wonder if just like telling them to cut it down. There we go. That's like 2000 freaking wood. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom. Got that bread. Beautiful bread. I might have to... Now nah, three people's alive. We're making a thousand bread. I might start selling flour. Okay, we got 500 sheets. We got a lot of stone. Which is good. Um, let's uh, upgrade that. So that's 87. I mean, honestly, if we were going to upgrade anything, we should probably upgrade this middle area since it's facing and all of this, all of that, and all of you. I think that's pretty much a lot of resources we're about to spend. And I don't care. I'm just doing it. I like to kind of like make the game challenging by putting myself into a situation where I spend all my resources. It just it gets me all hyped up. And on edge, which is the best best way to do anything in life. Not really, but um, it's what I do to keep things interesting in the game. Keep myself peak performance. Right, cool. We're gonna get stone. All right, we got a lot of stuff to do. 
Um, so one thing you can do is take off out of fill positions and take everyone out of a tower. Uh, typically what I do is then manually just adjust people into defensive tower positions like where bears kind of come and where people are. So I might like, uh, wow, they really tore the shit out of this place. I might just do a couple towers like in this area. And then of course the one person here just to keep the cows and everybody else safe. Maybe even one more. Barracks I don't do because it costs gold to rehire people, so I just leave them. It's only three people. But that's a lot of people. And then when the raid happens, I tell everyone to go into the guard post. And then they go and they all pick up their weapons. Um, with that said, there's a lot we have to do now. I'm going to upgrade the Fletcher building. Um, we're going to start making crossbows. I might even need to get another Fletcher up. But um, we'll leave it there for now. I think it is time to max out Brickyard. I believe we had a substantial amount of coal, so I don't think we need to increase coal production. Our milk is very sufficient. We definitely have... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I said I was going to get the, the barracks up. Okay. In the design, the barracks stick right about here. So, oh, God, I hit upgrade on accident. Oh, I'm salvaging it anyway. Boom. Alright. So we've been raided. If we get raided again, it's Jesus hates us. Um, let's get rid of this. And... Defense? Okay. Defense. Alright. So... Oh no, he's right here in the design. So I'm gonna need to... Uh, Cannibalize some of this stuff. All right, hold on. I think that trader's there now. No, oh. no, oh, he's right there. Let's check the trader out real quick. He's got Denata. He has nothing I want to buy. He's not buying anything I have to sell. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Well, I know this goes this way. And I know that there is a wall around here. It's too thick. So this is actually perfect right here. Um, this, this gentleman needs to be moved somewhere. Let's move him here for now. Because there's going to be two gates that go in here. There's two gates that go in here. And this goes like that. For some time. Um, that's probably going to be the easiest way for the damn enemies to get to this barracks. And we'll have the gates there. Oh, man. Yeah, it's two tiles thick around this whole dang thing. And the two gates there. And there's another layer. So it goes like this. Um, so just this needs to be destroyed. Nope, one more. And then this can be brought out like so. And that can go like this. And there's your double. Oh man. Yep, there's your double wall. That's just the double wall around that. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. So I got my double wall there. Oh, I see. So in the design, there's no wall here. And the double wall goes like this. It's kind of hard to, to see sometimes. So you just gotta, gotta remember. So then the double wall goes here. And then the single wall goes here. So we'll just integrate these as such. That, okay. Makes me happy. 
got the walls all situated. Now we just need to build that damn thing. But that's that's the barracks. I almost wonder if I want to up the design. Seems like they're gonna. <laughs> this happened to me on the Legions for it too. It seems like they're really all about this corner. I might end up upgrading some of these towers, especially if I can afford it. It does it does appear though that I need to buy some stone if possible. So hopefully we get a trader that sells us some stone. May have overdone it on the stone, but that's uh okay. Because we're doing great. Clear cut in the woods. Got lots of people doing stuff. Everything is hunky dory. Your building's on fire, it's great. Fantastic. Everything's, I mean, everything's doing pretty good. Got good production, everything going. We got an amazing food supply for our population. We definitely don't have to worry about food, any at all, anymore, or um, even look at that because it's just there's nothing else to grow. Our fruit, I think, is probably pulling in a thou, five seventy. Hmm. These trees, oh, these trees aren't at full maturity. That's why once they hit full maturity, they'll do a thousand for like several, several years. Um, 600's good. I just having that extra food type. Oh, that's right. I was gonna put. Nah, I got two people in the market. That's that's enough. Especially because everything here is is up to speed. We're gonna go through a lot of wood. It's a good thing I'm cutting down a whole forest right now. I think we're gonna dial back the clay production. Yeah, let's dial back some some stuff here. Um, just reminded myself that I need to set this proper. We don't really have weeds anymore. Let's do it like this. It doesn't really matter. Um, so we're producing a lot of flax. How much flax do we have? We need to get. Um, we need to make sure 273. Okay, we're gonna bump this up two people. And we'll just kind of see how much flax they use and keep bumping it up. Um, most likely all the shirts they use are going to be used by people. So we probably won't have too much to trade. Four crops. 64 crops eaten. Uh, yeah, the guy's not doing his job over here. He sucks. That's okay. I'm not really worried about... I mean, I'm not worried about crap. To be honest, I, I really want the hides more than I want the extra food that they're eating. I want the... Their, shoes and and uh, later shields and all that stuff and once we get oh yeah that Fletcher's up now all right cool so you can do crossbows we need to set quotas 40 40 uh, minimum 40 40 I do quite a bit because I do have quite a bit of people and a hundred or a thousand all right we're doing ramping up this to four people yeah, um, I'm gonna do 1250 now because I have a pretty large society. We'll keep it keep it at a good ratio, but that should do pretty well. And then we got some money and some items stored here. All right, but you can see we've made a lot of really good progress. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Next episode we're gonna continue acquiring stone, uh, finishing off the design before we expand. Bulking up, we're going to build medium statues, the small statues, we're going to build all the flower urns, we're going to build every single thing, and we're even going to get the theater up. So we want to do as much building as possible to make sure that we're focused solely on expanding this next area, because like we don't want to have to do things over here when we're building out a massive area, because we have to expand fast. So I'm going to need a lot of gold stored up, a lot of resources stored up, and we're going to move. We're going to move fast. Um, and I want to do it all. I want to do the first area fully in stone. So I'm not wasting that wood resource. But, I mean, look at how well things are coming together. Very well. So, if you followed along so far, thank you so much for watching. I will try to keep things interesting. And have a good day.